Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost. This is Global War 1914 Operation Hamill. Uh, it's the summer of 1917. You were probably tuning in to see the British Empire turn. But instead, this is the end of game video. Um, on uh, Germany's turn, they were able to capture Paris and uh, Lorraine. I haven't updated the map, but they captured those two uh, zones and were able to move uh, enough other forces into Picardy that uh, they, there's no way the Allies can overcome this defeat. I mean, the, Germany's got 30-some units parked in France. The British have got six infantry. The Americans have got six infantry out here on the water. That's uh, that's just not going to get it done. As everybody, you know, realizes that. So, let's go over here and have a look at the victory chart um, to see how things turned out. Okay, Germany, you can see there, has seven victory points. Uh, two cities and five victory objectives. The uh, Austro-Hungarians have one victory city and four objectives for five points. The Austrian or the the Ottomans have two cities, Constantinople and then uh, Peking in China, controlled by a warlord. And then uh, one objective. But there's also another point that doesn't appear on the chart here. The warlords control nine territories in China. So that is a, a fourth point for the Ottomans. Uh, so that gives the central powers a total of 16. On the Allied side, you can see there the British have one city and uh, two objectives. The French have no cities and one objective, but uh, they lose that point for enemy-occupied uh, territory worth an IPP and home country. So that's zero victory points for the French. And then you see the Americans there uh, don't have any cities. They have two objectives. I looked in the rules on uh, Pacific security, and it does not say that China has to be aligned to the Allies to collect that uh, objective point. And then there's another point for the Americans that's not on the chart. Uh, the Nationalists control nine territories, so that gives uh, another point to uh, the Americans for three but that only totals up to six for them compared to 16 for the Central Powers. As, as you know, a 10-point deficit. They just, they, they don't have the, the situation on the map isn't there and the forces are not there to be able to dig up out of that hole. So, uh, that's going to be that. Um, I am going to mention a couple of things here that occurred during the game just for reflection, if anyone uh, is interested. Uh, the Russians collapsed as a result of a random event roll, as you remember. I... I think having a collapse random event on top of the uh, the role that's going to happen as part of the, the core mechanics of the game, I just, I, I don't see doubling up on collapsing the Russians as, as being fair. Um, I mean, it's... The roles might turn out in Russia's favor. They're not. They might not. But I, I, I think having Russian collapse as a random event is just a, a half a step too far. 
if it was me, I would eliminate that. But that's just my opinion. Um, also on Russian collapse, I think giving Russia's bank to Germany uh, goes too far. I, I think that's giving Germany too much of an advantage going forward, especially since Germany gets to choose uh, whether or not the collapse happens. Well, I mean, Jesus Christ, who isn't going to choose to get the extra money that you can then turn around and spend every bit of it in the West? I, said, I, I think that that skews things toward Germany a, a little bit too much. So, again, my opinion, I think Russia's bank just needs to go away. Not in Germany's pocket. Um, the other thing is on the French mutiny. Uh, I don't, personally, I don't think that any country should lose its capital uh, because of a random event. That's, that's not fair to the French player. So, again, if it was me... I would put an exception into the the random events that uh, a mutiny or anything like that does not apply to a national capital. Again, that's just my opinion. I, I see these things that uh, I, I don't agree with, that I, I don't think are quite fair, you know, I, just, I think it's my duty as a player to point them out. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's the way she turned out. Central Powers, 16 points. Uh, allies, 6. So, Operation Hamill is in the bag. Ozark Outpost. Over and out.